reverse osmosis is pretty much a water softening system. Um, we take city water, uh, which is this water from Greater Cincinnati Water Works. Uh, we have to treat it in order to make it proper use for our systems here. Um, again, we want nothing but H2O to go into our boilers to make steam. We want no magnesium, the, the things that you usually find in, in your, your city water, magnesium, chloride, uh, fluorine, fluoride. Uh, those are like the three most common things uh, you find in there. We don't want, we don't want those. Those are the metals and stuff that we do not want to nick our, our blades. And, and you don't want pipes to get sludge on the inside of them. The, the sludge will build up and it will close your pipes, okay, to where you'll have no water flow. Uh, so we want all that out of here. Uh, first thing we do is we send it through a, a dechlorinator. Um, we have membranes in here that fishes out all um, elements except for chlorine. Uh, we have to dechlorinate it or the chlorine, the chlorine will eat up our membranes. Um, after it goes through a dechlorinator, the water it, itself goes into the re reverse osmosis system itself. Uh, the way I kind of look at it is, say you have a small little orifice with tiny, tiny little pinholes through it. And I mean microscopic pinholes. The only thing that can get, get through there is water droplets. Uh, what it's doing is filtering, it's, it's catching all your, uh, your compounds. You don't want your magnesium, your chlorine. It catches all that stuff on the membranes and maybe once every two to three months, we have to take those membranes out, throw them away and replace them. Do you love science? Of course you do. So stay up to date on all things science around Scentsy by subscribing to our channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter at SciAroundSensi.